The Way We Live with Eczema. Today is part three out of a four-part series I'm doing on eczema and love, and today we are focusing on the love of friends. Friendship. Wow, that is so important. If God, I don't know where I'd be today without friends. Man, I am so lucky. I feel so lucky to have had some really cool, nerdy friends growing up who didn't have eczema, but they liked my personality and they just accepted me despite my skin. When being friends with someone with eczema, it is so appreciated to be in the company of people who can accept you despite how you look, to be around people who have empathy for you. That's what I found, that the people who did remain in my life as friends were just people who could see past my skin and I feel like uh, for the like my early the earlier part of my life like probably like before the age of 20 I just felt like closer to my friends because they instinctively knew how to support me and just not constantly mention my skin the way my family did that's just like so awesome to have friendship in your life and know that if you have eczema you can totally have friends. In the end we're all just people. Luckily there are many kind humans in this world who can feel for you. I mean people with acne have friends and they live their lives. They also go through self-conscious moments like we do. I feel like the way eczema is seen is because it's more mysterious and there's not as much known about it in a very solid systematic way. But a lot of people are just like oh this there's this mysterious condition and it looks like third degree burns and you no know, like oh you know poor person or or like oh they might be contagious and let's just put that to rest let's just kill that myth because eczema is totally not contagious i think it's from my experience i find it to be more of a result of a weakened immune system which is very individual and does not necessarily relate to an infection unless you get us like a staph infection as a secondary issue but eczema itself is not contagious <laughs> So you don't have to worry about that. It's really important to have friends. When I was growing up, I didn't really know too many other people with eczema. I might have known two people, one person in high school and one person in college who ever had eczema and then there was me. <laughs> and so I didn't really have like the kind of online support and group support that is available now through social media. Instagram, is, I always mention it because Instagram is just such a, a really special place for the TSW and eczema community and even psoriasis community come together and you can find people online and discover people who are near you or who are traveling in your area. and and now like my experience of eczema and friendship is not like of just trying to find people who could see past my skin and just accept me but now it's like people who have are going through or who have also gone through what I've gone through and who I can have true camaraderie and solidarity with because it's like oh yeah that thing you went through and oh yeah I'm experiencing this flare probably because of that this thing and now I'm going through this life change and it's flare season and just uh what are your what really works for you like it's just it's a whole nother level of friendship I feel like when you are with someone who's gone through or is going through a similar um, chronic condition as you and it, it feels deeper and it feels like almost like family like just immediate familiarity and immediate understanding and acceptance and you know just another thing and it's nice to see the perspective that other people with your condition have of how you look because like for me I'm totally like self-conscious I'm just like oh I know I got this you know thing going on it feels a little rough feels a little dry because I've been sweating so much and it's been itching my neck and some people have been pointing it out who don't have eczema but then there's like other people who do and don't have eczema who don't even notice roughness around my neck like even in person i'm just like thank you so it just it's it's nice and in having a trial that you go through and having a really difficult thing that you go through it's painful but it's amazing how it can be an opportunity for you to find these other people who are going through what you're going through and just have like a deeper connection and a much more immediate and deeper friendship than you would have with just anybody else who doesn't have it and doesn't know what you're going through and so friendship is super important and and having friends with or without eczema in your life whether you know whether or not you've figured yourself out or whether or not experienced healing is just so important to keep your morale up and try even if it's just online like try to reach out to people because to talk completely isolate yourself and be a total hermit hide in your your cave or your bed all day and not have any kind of like socialization to bring you back into the outside world can be very devastating and I uh, have read uh, a couple of stories of suicide from people who had eczema because they 
didn't feel supported. Definitely did not feel supported by family. Um, too afraid to socialize. Just seemed like they kept to themselves and the itching got to them so much that it just didn't feel like we're living anymore. And so other people can be your lifeline. While there's certain other people who could just be really annoying <laughs> and people who try to preach to you and give you advice and all kinds of stuff, don't understand what you're going through. There are good people in this world who are worth looking for, finding, who can just keep you going. And just the fact that there are so many people with eczema, psoriasis and whatnot who continue to live and continue to fight and, and do experience relief after that is just like so hopeful and it makes seeing the light at the end of the tunnel so much more real. It's just so important to have it and it's uh, amazing like for someone like me who like, I, I feel like I'm in total control of my skin I, I, you know, I does not worry me at all even if I'm going through a flare even though my neck's like kind of darker kind of drier kind of rougher you're like eh, you know whatever like <clears throat> it's all good and for me I I see other people who have it worse than I do now, but I've been where they've been. I so appreciate those people for sharing their stories because for me, it, I just hit it all the time and it was not easy. For me, I want, I like to give those people support and to let them know that relief is possible and to share what I do know in hopes that it will inspire an idea for them or maybe something I share will help them. The amount of support, the amount of people out there who really care, who do have it, and, and even those who don't have it and can be the kind of people to look past your skin can be just, just such a lifesaver and and that is so serious and that is so literal. Definitely keep an eye out for the people who can see your merit, see your value, and who don't just judge you by your cover and seek out other people with similar experiences to you online, hashtagging topical steroidal withdrawal, hashtagging a TSW, eczema, psoriasis, and whatnot on Instagram, Twitter, um, I don't know, maybe Google too. There are just so many people out there now who are sharing their stories and the community is great, it's strong, it's fighting, it's thriving. Many people are healing. It's just a great time to be alive. I always say that and I mean it. And so I hope that if you have eczema, definitely feel free to connect with me. I love to hear other people's stories. I like to see what other people are going through. If it's something I can relate to, I'll try to share, you know, some words of experience in hopes that they will be helpful. And just know that you're absolutely not alone, especially right now. You are so in good company. <laughs> in today's world with social media with community so i hope this this has been helpful and, and encouraging for you i hope you will seek out more people in this community and have good laughs and joke around about the things that we go through because we all know the pain and it's not one that anyone has to bear the burden of alone Thank you, and I will see you next week for my final video of this Eczema and Love series on lovers, dating, and relationships. <laughs> Thank you, and I'll see you then. Bye!